What's going on everybody? Spunky Dice Not One coming you guys with another video. Coming at you guys with some breaking news out of the NFC East. So in uh Ian Rappaport is reporting that um Byron Jones has agreed to a contract with the Miami Dolphins. Um the full financial details of this contract have not um come out yet. But according to Ian Rappaport, the contract is um um is 17 million or more per season, which means that Byron Jones is the is now the league's highest paid cornerback. Um, Byron Jones was for you know, you guys who've been paying attention. Byron Jones has been uh, um, one of those guys that was linked to the Eagles. Uh, reports were going around that the Eagles were heavily, it, you know, um, they they were very very interested in um, Byron Jones. Um, reports were going around today that they were in a bidding war with the um, Oakland Raiders for Byron Jones. Um, my personal opinion about this, I am not sad about it whatsoever. Um, I agree with um, Boys for Life when Boys for Life said that uh, Byron Jones is a serviceable uh, corner, but he's not a he's not an elite corner. He's not a guy that's gonna get you a ton a ton of turnovers a game, you know, a ton a ton, a ton of turnovers a season. That's not who he is. I believe he only has two interceptions for his. Uh, I believe two interceptions on his whole career. So yeah, he's not he's not he's not one of those guys that's that's gonna give you a lot of turnovers. He is he is great at deflections. I will give him that. Um, you know he, he's an okay tackler, but there's nothing really special about him. S solid, serviceable uh, corner. I definitely agree with um, Boys for Life when he said that in his video a couple um, about a week ago. He said that. So yeah, I was seeing all, I was seeing all these Eagles video makers making videos about Byron Jones. I was you know I was seeing reports and stuff about the Eagles being interested in Byron Jones. But for me, man. 17 18 million whatever you know whatever he's about to make right now it, it, he, he's just not worth it in my opinion he um they, no he was not he's, he's not worth that kind of money so i'm very very happy that on um, the miami dolphins signed him instead of us uh, miami has a, a, a ton of cap space and they're obviously using their cap space right now but by byron jones going to miami what it tells me is that this guy is you know the only thing he's thinking about is getting paid he's thinking about money which obviously, you know, coming out coming off his rookie contract, you know, being 27 years old, you know, in the prime of his career, of course you're gonna try to you're gonna try to strike big with a big contract. So that's good for him, you know. But going to Miami, you know, very very clear that he's not looking to win. He's looking to get paid right now. And and if the reports are true, which they sound to be, it sounds like they are true. You know, he's making at least 17 million a season, which makes him the highest paid cornerback in the league. So. Good for Byron Jones. Uh, I'm, now, I'm personally, I'm very happy that we did not sign him, but I'm also happy that he's out of the um, the division and he's also out of the out of the uh, NFC in general. So, I'm personally very very happy about that. Now, some Eagles news is um, going around now that um, Eagles form. I guess you could say now former tackle um, Big V Hop, um, Big no Big V Hop, Vate Vata. Has now gotten paid himself. He's going to the Detroit Lions on a five-year, uh, five-year contract worth fifty million. So, my congratulations go out to Big V on his big contract. You know, very well deserving. I wish him nothing but the very best. Except when, of course, he's playing against the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, other news: a uh, big, big trade happening today. Of course, um, you know, big trade with um, with you know, up there with Houston and um, Arizona. He was traded there with DeAndre Hopkins and uh, Dave, you know, David Johnson. Both of those teams swapping players there, man. So, yeah, it, it's the uh, first day of free agency, man. A lot of big moves are going on right now. A lot of big trades are going on right now. Still waiting on Roseman to make a big move. I do expect at least one or two big moves by Roseman you know, during this period. He did make it very clear that he's going to be aggressive in free agency. So, like all other Eagle fans, I'm just sitting here waiting to see what he's going to do. You know, I'm just waiting to see what he's going to do. Hopefully, it is a big move. Reports are going around right now that um, the Eagles have been talking to the Los Angeles Rams about trading for wide receiver Brandon Cooks. Um, Brandon Cooks was a, receiver, was a receiver that the Eagles were interested in a couple years ago when the New Orleans Saints was traded him. They, of course, that year ended up trading him to the um, New England Patriots. He spent one year in New England, um, obviously the year that we played him in the Super Bowl. And I can just I just remember him getting hit by Michael Jenkins in that game, man. But one the one thing about Brandon Cooks, man, is that he 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 he's fast. We need speed on this offense. We need a guy that can stretch this field with it with 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 their speed. So you you definitely get speed when it comes to Brandon Cooks. 
I, um, reports are going around. Like I said, the Eagles are once again trying to trade for him. They are they are uh, um, they are reportedly in conversations with the Los Angeles Rams to trade for Brandon Cooks. We'll see how that go. But yeah, um, Byron Jones was linked to the Eagles. You know, he was linked to the Eagles. Um, uh, some Eagle vid makers were making videos about him. I, I, you know, reports were going around and stuff. Well, I'm so happy now that we could finally put that to bed. I didn't want him to begin with. Yes, we do need um, to improve at corner, but we can focus on that in the draft or, or get a cheaper guy here in the uh, free agency. I did not want to pay $17 million for for um, uh, Byron Jones. Um, like I said, man, I definitely agree with um, Boys for Life when he said that Byron Jones is a serviceable corner, but he's not an elite corner. He's not. He's, he's, a, he's a pretty solid, pretty good corner. But he's not one of those guys that's going to get you multiple turnovers a season. That's just not who he is. So um, congratulations to him. It was obvious that you know getting paid was what he was focused on. And he got paid, so good for him. Anyway, uh, if, any, if any Eagles news come out, any big news about the Eagles come out, of course you guys know I'll be here to report to you guys. Just want to come on here and make this video because I know that this guy was linked to the Eagles, and I'm very happy that we can now finally put that to bed. But as always... Um, go birds, spunky nights, and I want is out of here. Fly, go fly, peace.